Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll diagnose and repair a SAB 9.3 with a faulty throttle body. I will show you how to look for basic data that will help you diagnose any car with the same fault. And I will provide you with some specific data about the SAB 9.3 with the 2.0 liter engine. Unfortunately there are no codes stored right now because we deleted them so we can drive the car out of the limp home mode but it had the P0222 stored in it and the same will apply for any other TPS faults. I next pulled the light data for both TPS sensors 1 and 2 and proceeded with a test drive and after an hour of not being able to duplicate the issue I was able to record it when it happened. You have to know that normal TPS sensors will usually have a combined reading of 5 volts at any position and that wasn't the case at the end of the test drive. Beside that, they should mirror each other around the horizontal axis. One sensor is rising, the other is falling down. I have another video for how to remove, clean and install the throttle body. I will try to link here at the top right of the screen. I will have to say that the video didn't turn as I want it. I didn't show any circuit testing because it was very clear to me that the TPS only fails around the same acceleration demand which usually means the tracks of the TPS are worn out right there. I hope you don't mind my friend's E36 M3 noise in the background. By the way, Saab has published multiple TSBs regarding faults in both the throttle position sensor and the accelerator pedal position sensor and other component that's part of a circuitry passes through the gray connector underneath the battery. So if you have different fault symptoms, you have to test the wiring integrity through that connector. It's a gray connector underneath the battery, named H42 in the 2003 cars and H24 in the 2004 and up cars. Whenever you have a technical service bulletin, it's a good idea to start with it. Only then, if you couldn't locate the fault, you move to testing other components. If you have multiple faults that starts with P045, P046, P049, P062, P145, P149, P212, and P213, it's a good idea to start checking the gray connector under the battery. You might need to clean the connector, replace or retighten some of its pins. Always install a new gasket when replacing the throttle body and tighten it to 10 newton meter or 7 foot pounds. Some people might be confused between the throttle position sensor and the accelerator pedal position sensor. The TPS is housed inside the throttle body, while the APPS is located at the accelerator pedal. Tighten the bolts in a criss-cross pattern and don't forget to torque them to 10 newton meter or 7 foot pounds. When you install this bracket, there is no need to torque the nuts, just snuck them out. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll show you normal vs abnormal TPS readings on the scan tool. For you who don't have scan tool to erase any generated faults, I'll suggest removing the battery before the start of the job. Now let's look at the recordings from the scan tool for both the old and the new throttle body starting with the old one. 
As you can see, sensor 2 was erratic and not mirroring sensor 1, with big dropouts around the same point in the curve. While when we look at the new throttle body, you can notice the perfect mirror image of both sensors, and the sum of the reading is always around 5 volts. Thank you boys and girls for watching and remember if you are not a subscriber consider subscribing. Bye bye.